How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video, you know, everyone's been talking about stonks, stonks, stocks, you know, oh, this, that, AMC, you know, GameStop, you name it. We are going to have a video on the HUT stock market, okay? Basically, you know, what you should be investing in and, and just overall market advice, I'd say, uh, you know, and how to you know, potentially make coins, right? So, all right, before I go any further in this video, don't hate me, don't yell at me, as there is with anything in life when it comes to gambling, investing, there is simply risk to lose. So, you know, don't, don't hate me, that's for sure. So, here we go. Uh, we're going to go to the auction house right now, and what we're going to see uh, is... We're going to go from collectibles first. We're going to look at collectibles uh, on the auction house. So basically, my idea here is when a new event is going to come out in Hockey Ultimate Team, okay? So let's just say on Friday, right? Like next Friday. So there'll be a brand new MSP event. You know, be a new MSP is a brand new event. What you want to do then, because especially silver icons are coming out right now, the best time to buy these, uh, in my opinion... Um, would be once these once this event comes out. I mean, it just makes the most sense logically uh, is to buy the icon collectibles once the event comes out. Um, as you can see right here uh, on the auction house, there is just you know there's a lot right now of gold collectibles. As you can see, 75, right? Um, but icon collectibles, there's always a little bit less because. I feel like Icon Collectibles, there's a lot more, you know, just rare in general. So, more than likely, when a brand new event comes out, a lot of gold collectibles uh, are going to be used uh, for the event, right? Like, for the, for the MSPs. But, uh, I'm thinking the silver, you know, Icons are kind of being forgotten, you know, in all of that. They're kind of being forgotten. That's why the Icon Collectibles, you know, they kind of they kind of dip, you know? They kind of dip. Like, like, right now we're seeing, I'm seeing one for... Uh, 57k. Um, another one for. I think I think I saw one for 56 earlier as well. I think it might have been bought actually at this point. Yeah, 56 actually. Uh, but then if you look at the uh, gold collectibles, they are more expensive than the icon collectibles. Not by a lot, but they're more expensive for sure. Like you can definitely get a cheaper icon collectible than a gold icon. A gold, sorry, gold collectible. Um, they're just usually more expensive, right? So. That's one piece of advice I'd have for you guys. Um, also, same thing though, like gold collectibles right now. I mean, they're they're not, you know, they're they're, they're kind of settling in at a price. Uh, I would honestly wait to really buy gold collectibles. We're gonna buy them probably until Wednesday. Really, best piece of advice when it comes to collectibles. If you really want to get collectibles and make them, just buy gold players, guys. Buy gold players. Um, and, and to buy the gold players, I mean, what you want to do is make sure you buy them when they're at their cheapest. Um, like a buy now maximum. Let's give it a look right now. Uh, what, what they're going for. Uh, gold cards right now. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 900. 1,000. Okay. So, 950 for gold cards. This is a steal right now. This is a steal. To get cards, gold cards for 950 or cheaper is absolutely amazing. Um, I truly think you want to make sure you take advantage of this. Uh, this is not really a common thing. These go up in price, um, especially once uh, new events come out and bigger high-end card come out that you can use for you can you make sets for. Like any any uh, MSP that you need to make you know sets for, of course, uh, gold collectibles. These are gonna go up. The gold players will go up because obviously people want to build the master set players, and uh, it's the easiest way to. Uh, you know, make the collectibles is buying these players, right? So, you know, that's my honest opinion on that. Um, there's so many other ways here to, you know, invest and, and make some coins here. So, what I did quickly, I mean, it, it really the key is, is just kind of learn the market and, and, and understand where things are headed, right? So, where do you, you know, how do you know where things are headed, right? Let, let's just say that. So, let's go over to the team of the year section, okay? Um, actually, that's not even a section. It's going to be the MSP section right here. Um, and let's just say Victor Hedman for, for just, for instance, Victor Hedman, okay? Victor Hedman right now, uh, is going for one point, you know, at least two mil, right? Uh, he was going for, I would say around maybe like one mil-ish when it was first out, Hedman. 
Uh, but he has gone up at least 200, 300k in, uh, in about a month. Uh, so, and that's, that's crazy to think about. Uh, all the Team of the Year cards really have gone up a lot since, you know, they were originally in packs and all that, which I could have told you so, that's for sure. Like, uh, Pasternak is super, super up there as well. Uh, I actually bought my David Pasternak for 1,050,000 coins, which is actually really, really cheap in my opinion, um, considering how much he's going for now, which is, you know, there's really not a lot in the market ever to find, and, and they're both up for 1.4 mil, and that's, it's a lot. It's a, it's, a, it's a heavy, heavy price, you know, ask, and, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. It really is just crazy, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really, that's all I can really say. I mean, Pasternak, is is really really uh really good and, and really worth it but it's crazy to see how expensive they've gotten uh some other quick advice on you know making profit in this game of course is, is investing in cards when they go down in price so basically my best advice here really is when you're gonna buy cards make sure you wait until wednesday when packs are being opened or or thursday before champs opens all right because people People, everyone buys their cards then, and it's honestly probably, you know, a decent time to sell as well. I mean, if, if you're just trying to get rid of them quick, because things are going to sell pretty quick because people are going to buy their cards up, right? But if you're trying to make profit, uh, the best real piece of advice I have for you is look at this right here, okay? So let's go 87 to, I don't know, let's just go 94 overall, right? And we're going to go to the 59th minute here, and we're going to see cards that, you know, they're going to be like, wow, you know, they're, they're, they're normal price, they're normal price, they're normal price, but once you start understanding the values of certain cards and, you know, what everything goes for, you know, it really does change your perspective on, on when you see a card pop up, right? So, uh, let's just say, uh, okay, Kachuk, 689, that's normal price, normal price right there, normal price. So, you know, there's no reason to, to go, you know, go crazy over that. Laugh, you know, that's that's normal. Patrick Kane, 154, that's that's normal, you know, it's just, you, you learn the prices of these cards, and it goes a really long, long way. I know people say, oh, you'd say, Henrik, you've been telling me this already. You've been telling me this. Henrik, I know already. You've made videos like this. But remember, there's a different audience every video, potentially. And, uh, you know, it's it's definitely things change. And uh, it's, it's always, if you guys want me to, you know, give you a better understanding of these things, ask in the comment section down below uh, as well. Like, you know, oh, is this a good buy now? Or should I do that now? Or... It just really depends. I mean, it depends on the timing of when you want to buy a card, the card especially. Like, master set items, I'll always say, uh, they tend to actually go down uh, once they're out of packs. Uh, recently, they have. Uh, so I've seen from the last event, a lot of the MSPs have gone down in price. So let, let, let's just see for argument's sake. I believe... So the Philip Myers is one I know for sure. Um, I bought him for like... 590k i'm pretty sure and now he's like 465 which is a lot cheaper and the real reason that for that is there's a lot more uh you know cards that are coming out right i mean just good cards are coming out not a bad card myers by any means but as better cards are coming out and more cards are coming out it's gonna become less and less expensive right so um the same thing to uh let's just say even gabrick i mean gabrick's a phenomenal card you know it's you know vortex a phenomenal card but only 279k right? i mean and it's McKinnon, it's the same thing. Hughes, Hughes was, uh, what, what's Hughes going for still? Hughes was going for like 700k plus. Now Jack Hughes is about 600k. That's a very normal price for me. That's very, very cheap. It's not even selling for 600k as well. Um, but I will always say as well, uh, when it comes to, to market advice, um, if you're going to buy a card and, and you're looking to make profit on it, I would sell that overnight, okay? So if you buy a card, let's just say, um, okay, Philip Myers, right? Let's see, Philip Myers, uh, 465k, right? 62k, okay. If I saw him go for 400k, I would buy it instantly, and I could easily, I could easily flip that for 450 overnight, in my opinion. Maybe 460. If you put it for 12 hours, um, you know, I'm talking Eastern time. If you sell it, like uh, I would say, you know, 10 o'clock at night, 12 hours from there, and uh, you'll, you'll get, you'll get it sold. I mean, more times than not, it'll sell. Um, you, you, you can definitely sell cards higher overnight. It, it does seem that they're able to sell. That's what I've always noticed. It's kind of like a, just a thing that's always been the way it is in, in, you know, NHL, at least I've noticed. So, yeah, I mean, it's, there's a lot of different, uh, variables when it comes to the market, guys, though. There really are. I mean, I, listen, I'm trying to learn it each and every day. I'm not a guy that grinds the market like I used to, but, you know, it's definitely interesting. There's a lot of different things that go into the market, right? Like, 
the 94 Kachuk and the 94s in general in this in this event? Are they going to really stay as expensive as they are right now? I don't know. I mean, they, they could, but I don't expect them to, like, you know, be a mill, right? Like, Matthew Kachuk, 94 overall, 9 to 3, 80, like, that's just not going to hold. I'm sorry. Like, that will not be the case in, in a week or two. Like, I mean, it's just not. Because we're going to be pulled, um, and, and eventually just people won't be like, oh, I'm not going to spend 900 k on this card. It's just not worth that. By the 93, it's one, one overall less. Like, it's just, it's, that's a thing, you know, it's, 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 obviously they're cool and everything, they're, they're plus one and everything, but it just doesn't seem like it's worth it for most people, right? So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it though, guys. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video. I know it was kind of like a, you know, random video to make, but I mean, again, I wasn't talking about stocks and all that. So I decided to make one here, HUD edition, and, and hopefully it helps some of you guys out. I really do. Um, you know, I want to do more market advice in the future as well. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. Use code Henrik for 10% off your G Fuel orders. Uh, as always, guys, much love. I appreciate everyone watching. Let me know what, what else you want to see on the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.